Hi everybody, so another wind turbine design that I think that is truly impressive is the Harmony wind turbine. Now the Harmony wind turbine is based on the Savonius turbine which was a Finnish turbine developed in 1922 and essentially it's just two scoops and here's an example of it in a little wind driven car we made in the video 1967 I think. Okay, there it is finished and we've moved that obviously then the rotor turns equally if we turn the rotor it'll move the vehicle. <laughs> It's a ridiculous thing, isn't it? But sometimes you've just got to have fun. Okay, let's put a hairdryer on it. And it works by something called differential drag. So when the air hits that turbine, it hits the scoop and forces it round because there's more force here than there is drag on this curved section that's moving through the wind. And of course, that causes it to rotate and we have ourselves a wind turbine. It's a tremendously popular design because it is so simple to build. Now, commonly, they're thought of as being sort of 15% efficient, but recent research is showing that, in fact, they're around about 30% efficient or so. so there's been some changes in the ideas of this but it was the inspiration for Christopher Moore's Harmony Turbine. Now I like Chris, he's a, a, an interesting guy, he came through OU Power I believe and Open Power Research in the 1990s and developed the wind turbine in I think the early 2020s and then he's since dedicated himself to this and his big thing, the thing that really makes this exciting is that when you arrange the scoop blades properly they're able to fold up on themselves so they can close in and move out depending on wind conditions. So the wind is low, then they're opened like that and they can capture more of the wind energy. When the wind is high, they furl to close together like that so they don't overrun. The effect of that is to increase the wind speed that they can actually operate in. Because when wind speed is too high, normally you have to shut other turbines down or they'll literally tear themselves to pieces, they spin so quickly. With this furling design on a Savonius, that doesn't happen because you can reduce the speed by furling the blades up. And that means the area, or the, the time you can actually run a turbine like that is extended. Now it's a beautifully simple design and very clever engineering and that's what I really like about it is the smart application of that engineering to a turbine design. So I drew this up in Tinkercad because I'm quite fascinated by the engineering and of course I printed them out. And when you've printed them out, this is what you get. Now I've decided to print these in two halves because it, it saves the infill there but all you do is glue those together by matching up the two gears. When you've printed out four and glued them together, that's it. And there should be two of them with those knurled ends because they fit together like that. These are part of the driving mechanism that close them and open them. So what you need then are two of these. These have this bit facing the bottom because the whole thing actually drives the generator from this arm or this here if you like. So they're going to be that. Now that bit is a long cog which goes in the centre there and we have a cog that sits on top of that because that's going to be driving it. So the wind drives this here making it spin the whole thing but that bit sticks out and the idea is to attach a small motor to that and the motor will turn that cog and that cog will drive these. These go in the side pinion arms like that and that and that is where these two fit on. So that fits on like that and that fits on facing the opposite direction like that and then we put this top plate on. When it's together that's what it looks like. Obviously in that open position when you've got a low wind it's going to spin relatively quickly but what happens is this armature here is connected to these driving arms and of course that's down to the generator which is taken from that short stub section. When the wind picks up what you do is attach a motor to here as a control motor which will turn that cog and of course that puts it into the closed position. And it can close up for any wind speed gradually allowing you to adapt it 
to the wind speed. Now, this is just a single unit. What Chris has done, obviously, is stack those units together. So you get a whole stack of units, one on top of the other, to create a helix. That helix is another, well, I think, quite cool innovation relating to this type of wind turbine. Now, it is uh, under a patent. It's under investigation. I think Penn State are working with um, Harmony on this to have a look at it. And there's some very good results out there. And results are really what you're interested in. So I'm not going to release these STL files, but the um, the drawing was actually relatively simple. And for me, there's more work to do on this. But I thought I would show you the basic design, how it works, and that it is quite a promising wind turbine. And I love it just because of the engineering. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.